Welcome to the Anywhere Builder tutorial. In this demonstration, I will show how to add a lookup to a field in Maximo Anywhere. To do this, I will be using Anywhere Builder. This will vastly simplify the process. To start, I will navigate to the start page of the application. From there, I'll navigate to the screen on which the field that I want to have a lookup on exists. In this case, the work order details. But, I don't actually have the field I want, so I'm just going to add my JP num field from my data explorer. Drag that over. See my other tutorial on how to do this, import this data from Maximo. Now, as so I have my field in my row, I want to select the field and add lookup. And then select the MBO option. This is the same as a table domain. I am able to select any Maximo object and bring down data as a lookup. In this case, I'm going to select only the fields that I need to display inside of the lookup, jpnum, description, and the rev number. Then I get to select the layout. It defaults to item 1, description 1, but I can select any number of pre-configured layouts. We're going to stay with the default. Now, I bind the fields to this location that I want them to be displayed. In this case, I want jpnum on the left and description on the right. Then I can configure any labels in the details area. Clicking finish will automatically create my lookup and any necessary resources in the app XML. As you can see at the top, we have a preview of a single row in that lookup. If I go back to my details view, you'll notice I have a lookup icon. Double clicking the icon brings me back to my lookup editor. In this case, in order to set the JP num, I need to also set the rev, rev number in, on the existing uh, work order. I'm going to add that to my layout. I can add it above, below, or in this case to the right. I'll also want to return it and set it on the target field. I save my editor, and then I'll save my application. Now I'll navigate back to my app editor so that I can test this configuration in my development server. Selecting the Launch and Preview button will build my application and then deploy it automatically and open up a web browser to my development server. When testing additional data, I'll need to log in, pre-download all of my lookup data or additional data by selecting now, and then waiting until it finishes downloading before I can test this configuration. Selecting my lookup, you'll notice I now have a list of all the job plans I can select. I'll select one, and it configures it inside of my detail. Now, I'm going to do the same thing and go through the same process, but this time I'm going to set a pre-configured domain. To this, I'm going to find, once again, the field that I want to add the lookup to. In this case, the priority field. Right-click and select the Add Lookup option. This time, I'll select the domain option. This will give me a list of possible domains, all the configured ones in your Maximo system. I'm going to select the ticket priority. Clicking finish, there's a lot less options that I need to do here. Everything is automatically done for me. I can change anything, but in this case, I just want to leave it as is to simplify this process. Once again, you see the lookup icon next to the priority field. Double clicking brings me back to the lookup editor. Now I'm going to go ahead and launch and preview my configurations on my development server. If 
you are wondering about the job execution application. This is a cloned application of the work, order execu work execution app. See our other tutorial on how to clone an app. Once again, we'll come in here and we'll need to make sure that we download the additional data before we can test the configuration. Now we'll navigate down to our priority field and you'll see we have a lookup icon which shows us the values in our domain. Thank you for watching our tutorial.